Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it is Thursday. It's September 7th. This will be our chart lesson for today. And a quick look at our daily chart. We've traded down again and bounced one more once again um, off the lows. Uh, they can't seem to keep it down. They keep pushing it lower, but we can't seem to keep it down. Prices tend keep tending to bounce right here off this yellow. Um, envelope band so um, we had a pretty good rally the second half of the day it wasn't real super strong but it was a consistent easy easy channel for the most part so um, we'll flip over to that chart and we'll take a look at it and you can see how I saw it okay here's a, a higher look at the 2000 tick chart you can see we tried to trend down um, we had a break here. We didn't quite make a new low, but we came back and finally made a new low, and then we rallied out of there. We had a spike and a channel up. Okay, here's a look at the chart. You can see we had this downtrend. We tried several times uh, to go lower, and, and this 44.35 was just too strong a support, and we bounced off there. Notice that we did have this um, channel working lower. We had a break and a new low on it. Then we also had this channel and had a break, and that new low made a new low for both of those channels. And then that's when we really rallied up and went in. This is like a spike in channel. We went into this channel. And you could really trade this channel. It's almost flat, so you could trade this both ways. Anytime you're back and forth above and below the uh, EMA, you can trade it both ways. It's not too strong. So you can trade that one both ways. But you can see it there. Uh, really, it's just a range day. Uh, that's what I would call it. Um, kind of closed in the in the middle here. But let's uh, we'll zoom in. We'll go through the trade. There's not a lot of them today, and we'll wrap this up. This is gonna wrap up our week. No chart lessons on Fridays. So um, I'm not feeling really good today. Um, I'm gonna come in in the morning, unless I'm feeling worse tomorrow. I'm gonna come in and do my do the mid morning report, maybe trade for an hour, and then I'm probably cutting loose for the rest of the day. Um, I'm afraid I may have COVID. Uh, it's going around, and a couple other people have had it, and I've got the symptoms to it today. So this will be my second time to have COVID over the last few years, but we've got a surge of it around here, people coming down with it. It's like a light case of the flu, and I'm afraid that's what I've got. So uh, just not feeling 100%. Kind of real light flu, flu light symptoms. But anyway, let's get to the chart lesson. Enough about me. Um, there was a 7 uh, 30 unemployment claims a day. You need to be flat on that. Uh, so that really meant you couldn't trade till after 7 30. Didn't really affect anything. We were already trending down and we just really started going sideways. But uh, you got your first break here, made a little double bottom. And you ran up here and you get this little failed breakout. I like going short right there just to try to ride it to the other side. That's where it goes. It bounces. And you don't have enough room in there to go long, even on the high or low. So you got to skip that long. Um, and then we get this little failed breakout with, with such a bearish bar, even though that made a new high. I like going short right there because you're trying to make a new low on this channel anyway. And uh, I don't think we, we may have made a new low on that right there. Low is 44.34.75. Now oh, it made a double bottom there. So let me just double check this other bar. Yep, they made triple. We tried three times and couldn't, so that's why we got that little bounce there. And notice, uh, notice you got a two-legged pull back here in confirmation of that trend line. Even though you made a slightly higher high there, that's still two legs back to the EMA with a nice signal. Well, I like going long there, to be honest with you. It's not a true second entry because we've made a little higher by the way we do the counts, but it still looks like two legs back to the EMA, right off a key entry point and the EMA, and uh, uh, second entry long. So uh, that's it. Uh, I treat it like two legs back, even though it's not a second entry. So, anyway, uh, runs on up, 
and makes a new high here. We find, well, we, find, we actually continue to trend up, but um, there's not another entry here until uh, we start trending down. We never, even though we get a break here, we don't make a new high. We continue trending down. And notice you get a first entry, second entry here with a big uh, bearish bar. Um, technically, it just looks like a big bar up and then back down. So, but te but by the counts, it's a second entry, and it does confirm that trend line. So maybe you go short right there. I marked it green, but I'm not crazy about it. Um, then we make a double bottom, first entry, second entry. Uh, we do get a close outside, new high, second entry short. This is a double bottom, and that's that's not a leg there. So that's clearly a first entry, and then a second entry. And I like that. And the problem is it's kind of in the middle. We just came off the lows and we're not back to the highs. Um, it's been a fairly bearish uh, downtrend and you might get another leg down. So it's probably worth considering, um, especially since this played out. You get your break and new high, but maybe you take that trade. It just depends. I barked it green. And then you get a little spike. It shoots up and you get a big overshoot here. I tried to make this fit and it doesn't. So to me, I'm pretty sure that that feels like a, an overshoot. Maybe it's a two tiered, but you can see we're turning down there. So to me, it looks like uh, a two tiered right there and, and an overshoot or maybe even just a single tier and an overshoot. So however you want to see it, it really works out the same either way. I think we have an overshoot regardless. There's a lower high here, but that's too congested. And uh, then we continue to work down, but I just don't see anything that really I like going short on right there. Um, there's just there's just no real good setup. And then, of course, we bounce at the support, but there's no good setup bar there. And this thing just takes off. So, unfortunately, maybe you get a tra chance to trade that, and maybe you don't. So actually, you don't. There's no maybe to it because you just don't get a setup there. It, you know, if you had, if you did get a setup down here with a good signal bar, you know, maybe you go long there. But there's nothing on my chart that would make me want to go long. And of course, you get a close outside, new high, and we turn down. Now you got a little trend. Now there is a triple test across there. Uh, it just looks a little congested, so I didn't mark it. We are a little ways away from the EMA. It's another possibility. Uh, I'm just not crazy about it. And then we run down, get a close outside, new low. And here we might finally get a higher low with a nice signal bar. Uh, I like that one to go long. And runs up, and we just continue to find resistance there. Um, it's tempting to go short there, but notice how we're making a new high each time. Be careful of that. We finally make a lower high here, but you don't have much room to scalp out. Um, and then you actually break lower here and fail. And you, it, this thing actually breaks below that red bar and turns up and closes on its high. I like going long on the engulfing bar, but there's still room there to get out, even if we turn down again. So I think you could go long either way there, but I like hitting that one on the engulfing bar. Then it runs up, and we turn down again. Again, no real opportunity to go short down through there, and it bounces right down here. Uh, we, you got two touches here now. Now you get a third, so you could claim that you got a um, a confirmation of your trend line there. I don't think it made a new low, if I remember right. 44, 45, 50. 45, yeah, so it made another double bottom. I would have liked it better if it would have ticked lower and then turned up, but it's still a nice enough bar right off a key entry point uh, away from the EMA. So I like going long there. It turns out to be a pretty nice move. I marked it green because it looks a little congested, but being that far away from the EMA, it's probably time to snap back, especially when we're flipping back and forth above and below like that. Turns out to be a pretty nice move. You get a break. Two legs to a new high, turns down, and then it makes another leg up. Uh, again, this one's tempting. Uh, this is two legs back, but that's not a good enough signal bar. Um, it's actually a first entry, and then you made a new high, and then another first entry if you go by the counts. 
but really it looks like a second uh, this is uh, we already made a retest of eyes this looks like a second separate trend i didn't draw it that way but let's just put it on there so you can see what i'm talking about it looks like a separate trend with a break and new high and if you see it that way maybe you take that trade because it is a second entry as well if you see that then maybe you take that there's a lower high here it breaks higher and turns down I don't think there's enough room between there and the EMA there's a, only a point and you still got to be concerned about that with an uptrend a slight uptrend even though this plays very similar to a mixed trading or a range day uh, I think you still have to respect that EMA right there and so I don't like that trade right there and again you get two legs back it's not a clear um, second entry by the counts but you get two legs back and you get a triple test um, and prices should be heading here I marked it green notice you get you're making a lower high each time here that's that's a good sign that maybe you're gonna go lower so you're still making a lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high hopefully you'll get another lower low lower high and you then now you made a higher low and then it takes off higher so but you got your break here and two legs to a new low maybe you take that trade I marked it green I don't think you want to go long here you run up you get a break new high and it really is like a repeat pattern almost perfectly of this last move up. Notice how it moves up, gets a break in UI, and then you get a trend down, and then you get that next trend. So if you see it that way as a repeat pattern, you do get a higher low here. Um, I mean, I think that signal bar qualifies. So maybe you take that. You've got to see, you, you know, you have to see that uh, first because... Uh, and there's a good chance we could go much higher because we just came off the highs and we didn't get back to the lows. But notice what happens. Even though you can't get back to the highs here, we finally come back to the lows. And when it came up short here, it overshoots here. But there's no break. I, I, I did trade this, uh, mark this one, because we turn back down. You get a first entry, second entry, um, all under the EMA. You tested that once, twice, three times. And it is a second entry and nice signal bar so I like taking that trade and it runs down you get the overshoot and then it reverses I don't think you want to try to go long down here with no break of this yet and it just reverses there is a higher low here but it's not a tradable one it's moved too far and then finally you get a break it tries to make a new high and can't um, and that looks a little congested and then it bounces right off the trend line again I don't think you can count that as a second entry. That looks like one leg down, so a first entry. And then here's where you get your second entry. It breaks lower and fails and turns up. Again, I like the engulfing bar going long one tick above the red, the reddish bearish bar here. Again, I marked it green. It's getting kind of late in the day. Um, and it's a little harder to see this one because, uh, you know, I say this all the time, but people still count that first entry, second entry. But there's no leg down there. It's just sideways. So there's your first leg. The whole idea behind second entries is we're looking for two legs of movement. And so you move down, you get a first entry, and then it pulls back again. It goes higher there, second entry. So uh, that's how I saw it. And there's not much else I can say about it. There's another high-level look at it. But, uh, yeah, I'm not feeling good. and uh, I'm struggling not to cough here. And uh, i got a sore throat and the whole nine yards so the sniffles so anyway i'm gonna wrap it up uh most likely there'll be a mid-morning chart tomorrow and like i said if I, i'm feeling like i am now i'll probably still come in if i'm feeling worse then uh and there's no chart lesson you'll know why or not chart lesson i'm sorry there's no mid-morning chart you'll know why uh because i'm just not feeling great um uh, anyway i'm gonna wrap it up so i can get out of here it's late in the evening I'm done for today. This is Matt with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.